native-born Israeli Jews are required to serve in the Israeli Defense Forces and make up the vast majority of the IDF. But who are the rest? What makes foreign Jews and non-Jewish natives to Israel want to sacrifice so much time and energy and in some cases risk their own lives? We have Israel. It's a pretty amazing and special country. And unfortunately, it needs an army in order to survive. So if I want Israel to continue existing for future generations, I have to do my part to help defend it. We are kind of a light in the Middle East. We are a very unique democratic country in this area. We are 5.5 million Jews surrounded by 600 million Muslims. Most of them hate the West. I've always wanted to defend this country. It's my, it, it's my country. I feel more connected here than I ever did in America. And I came here to grow as a person, and I came here to defend the Jewish people. Even though Israel is a Jewish country, not only Jews serve in the IDF. When I was in different positions in the IDF, I had the opportunity to serve with both Druze, officers enlisted, with Muslim, Bedouin, all sorts of different types. They're Israeli-born, they live in Israel, they're citizens in Israel, and they proudly serve their country. Like Jews, members of one Arab community in Israel, known as the Druze, are also required to serve. The Druze are non-Muslim Arabs who follow a religion of their own. I feel like really uh, proud of this to go to the army and uh, do my duty and because I live here I'm a, I'm a citizen, I'm an Israeli and, and I think it's too important for me to serve my country because I have no other country to go and to live in. The Druze in general you'd have to do a whole film to explain how committed they are and how much they both serve our country and they do their positions in the most magnificent way. In Hidel. بين لوحيم دروزي ولوحيم يهودي كلهم متقدمين بسلامة درجات كتسين دروزي جيا لدرجات ألوف اليوم مش نام شيشات دروزي تتي ألوفيم بنهم تات ألوف شي مش مش مسكير تسوي إيش النسيم دينا مارشيمون بيرس. A different Arab community in Israel, the Bedouins, are not required to serve in the IDF, yet some do. The Bedouins are a nomadic tribal community of Muslims. בדואים מביאים את הצבא ומתנדבים בשביל המדינה, להגן על הכל במדינה. זה האהבה שלנו במדינה ובצבא. The Bedouin community in Israel, there are certain tribes that all volunteer into the military. אני בעד שהילדים שלי ישרתו בצבא, אני חלק מעמדת ישראל. אני תושב שאני כמו כל תושב ישראלי. מאוד אני מרגיש כקרבה למדינה. אם זה אינתיפאדה או לא אינתיפאדה, זה אותו דבר. כמו שאין אינתיפאדה, אני מהגן על המדינה שלי. גם באינתיפאדה אני מהגן על המדינה שלי, זה אצלי אותו דבר. IDF soldiers come from multiple nations, cultures, and ethnic groups. Yet this diversity is a strength, according to the IDF soldiers. Throughout my army service I've been with the Druze, I've been with Bedouins, uh, Jews from Ethiopia, Christians from Russia, people from all over Europe, South America, everywhere. It's really, really interesting to be immersed and work together with people who you've never really been with before. To serve an army like that, you feel really that you are part of the nation. I learned a great deal about Israeli society, everything from kibbutz life to, uh, to religious Judaism, the secular left to the far religious right, all walks of life throughout uh, Israeli society, both the Jewish and non-Jewish. And each person has a story to tell, each person has a perspective, and it's been uh, absolutely amazing. I have more in common with Druze and Bedouin military men than I do with a lot of the people in the state of Israel. <laughs> Everyone has the same, the same uniform, everyone has the same rules, and everyone has the same rights. We're all here. We all still do our service. I don't really care if someone's Jewish or not Jewish. If you're in the army, you're still a soldier, and you're still expected to do the same job as everyone else.
Millions of personal connections are what make Israel a special place. Although protecting Israel is not always an easy task, it is one that people from all walks of life feel compelled to do. If I was going to convince somebody back home to join the army uh, here in Israel, I would say that it is an amazing and rewarding experience and it will help you grow as a person. I learned things about myself that I couldn't that I couldn't do before. I've changed as a person, I've matured, and couldn't be happier. To serve in the army, it's a very, very unique opportunity that you can be a part of something much, much, much bigger than you. Uh, there are a lot of times when you think it might not have been the right decision, but after, uh, after the, at the end of the day, when you're looking back at it, I couldn't have imagined making another decision or being happier with uh, how my life has turned out.